This time on Rock Up Racing, the team has successfully created their first carbon fiber part for the Gen 2 Chevrolet Camaro, a major step forward in the build for Speedfest at Brands Hatch this June. But there's still a long way to go. To produce more lightweight panels, they first need more molds. It sounds simple, but in motorsport, things are rarely that straightforward. Welcome to Rock Up Racing. Welcome back to Rock Up Racing. I'm full of cold, I'm really sorry. So, more carbon, more carbon. I'm just going up the stairs at the moment because uh, I've got to go put the oven on to start preheating the resin. So I'm gonna stick this on because today is Friday, so it's video release day. And hopefully by the end of this video, we're gonna have that part, the part that we failed on last week. So I'm hoping we can get the part all done so we can, so you guys can see the outcome by the end of this video. So uh, yeah, let's get into the oven. It's like four knots getting in here. Ray's done a cracking job. There it is. Stick the heat on. Right, I've made sure I've had no caffeine today. So it'll all be nice and smooth. Here we go. Right, so Rob's gel coated this. This is the infiller panel for that boot that we messed up on the first one. We've put the first layer of gel coat on. This this actual gel coat is supposed to be sprayed on. This is the only gel coat that we've got left. You're supposed to, yeah, you're supposed to spray it on, but we just painted it on. It's, <laughs> it's not the best, but we're gonna put another, another coat on and see what it's like. Might not work, but if it works, it, it's all good. So the green gel coat delaminated from the part, so we had to nip down the marine industrial shop and get some of the correct gel coat and start again. So this went into, so you put this in the oven for the first coat. Yeah. And it is. So how, how much catalyst did you use to pull? 2%. 2% catalyst in there. Pulls professionally, knows what he's doing. I know. Even though my camera work might be a bit um, faster, a bit. Does, he doesn't it's know what he's doing. Caffeine, it's alcohol. It's alcohol. Miracle glass. So we've got, to, we've got to put this on so um, the part comes out nice, yeah. nicely. Right, so we have to weigh the mold so we know how much carbon to use. 3.8 kilos. All right, you then. 
So, obviously, you saw us weigh, weigh the empty mold. You saw us weigh the empty mold, and then we're weighing it again with carbon in it, and it's it's now saying it's lighter. So, our scales may not be accurate. I think that probably packing scale is probably accurate around 300 kilos, isn't it? Rather than God. Right, so the stack on this is 3K, followed by um, a 12K, and then some extra sort of reinf reinforcements, reinforcements just around like these edge bits here. Um, I sort of ran out of offcuts of 12K, so I doubled up on the three, just for that section there. So Did someone already cut this? That's the stack. Oh yeah, look at that. Made to measure. done is put three resin lines in so we can sort of infuse it evenly ac like across the part hopefully we've not actually done this before um, but seen loads of videos of people doing it so it should be fine so three resin lines here to go in and then obviously the vacuum line there and as I said off the scale so we've got 250 grams of the epoxy resin and we're doing... 100? No, let's no. that up to 300. That's it, 300. And we're doing 50, 50 grams of the hardener. Is this the fast hardener? Yeah, it is. Good. Because we need this to be done by the end of today, so it goes in today's video. <laughs> Going to be super quick with this today. If you're enjoying the content and want to follow the build along with our journey to creating a carbon fiber Camaro, hit that subscribe button. Like the video, drop a comment. It helps the channel more than you know. Now let's see what Tom's up to. Are you gonna go in on Paul again? I'm not going in on Paul, Paul's here. I can't go in on him. Oh, actually that, that was too quick that I swiped that too quickly. Oh, okay. I'm gonna go in on you on the comments. Right, go on then, what are you doing? So, I'm today I'm working on my dream car and I'm very happy to admit that. It's a bit sad. It is very sad. When I was 10, there was an episode of Top Gear that we'll all know when Jeremy basically went in on the M5 for about 10 minutes and the last bit, he was like, this is amazing because he pressed the M button. So this is the E60 M5, the V10 one. Everyone knows it as the V10 one. And this is in for some alignment. Uh, it's had a bit of work done to it uh, somewhere else and um, the alignment was way out the steering wheel was like this as you're going on the road so you needed a bit of love the uh the tire water are completely frozen solid like we've had a load of heat very helpful paul very helpfully helped me lots of helps um we got ended up getting like a monkey wrench that load of heat on it and we managed to free them up um, without damaging them which was a bit of a result um but as you can see don't mind the springs, they came off a van. Plenty to tidy up, really. Um, it was all over the place. We had 12 mil of tow out at the front, which, like, two or three mil is a lot. 12 mil is dangerous. Other side was six mil, not much better. So we got it out. It was two and one mil. I haven't measured it again, but we reckon it's about right now. I need to measure it again on the springs once the weight is down on the, uh, on the, um, on the little stands. But it's what you're all here for. Look at that. This is where dreams come true, Charlie. S85, 507 horsepower V10. Um, 
famously without the limiter, which this one doesn't have, it will do 205 mile an hour. 207, my eight. This engine was developed alongside the Sauber V10 they put in the F1 car in 05. So I'm not claiming to have a V10 engine in this car because it doesn't, but uh, an F1 engine rather in this car, but this is developed alongside the F1 team of Sauber when it was made, which is super cool. And it was all in this very understated body. So that's why I fell in love with it when I was younger. I thought this is the coolest car ever. Tiff Nadell on fifth gear did a massive slide on it. Um, it was the... Not really. Yeah, it was the ring tool, the ring taxi at the Nürburgring for years and years. And yeah, I'm a bit of a fanboy, as you can probably tell, because this is like, this is where it ends for me. This and an Ultima GTR is like my two dream cars, so. Right, time to have a look at the part. So it's been infused, it's been, we infused it about how long ago? Uh, an hour? About an hour and a half. An hour and a half. Whoa, that's warm in here. Whoa, Nelly. Whoa, Nelly. And it looks brilliant. All of this side, all this looks absolutely fantastic. It's just not come over on this end here. So I think what we're gonna have to do is just re-infuse probably next, um, on Monday, come back in, take all the bagging off and re-bag it just in this area and just infuse just this corner bit here. I, I didn't realize, and I didn't say it in the video, so the resin that we used, this one, isn't actually supposed to be used for infusion, but we've run out of the easy composites. Um, we've run out of the easy composites in, uh, resin, so we had to use what we've got. We thought we might have uh, been okay using it uh, with the three inlets, because the resin, that, the, that, resin that we've used is a lot thicker so a lot more viscous so um it moves through the, it moves it is a good word it moves through the part quite slowly so that's why it hasn't quite infused just this that corner bit which is like this bit here this is the one that we failed on last time but i think all that will need is just a little infusion on that on that corner and then we'll have a part and it'll be fine so yeah not a problem so, not the outcome the team wanted, but it's not the end of the world. The part can be finished, but it's a harsh reminder that in this game, there are no shortcuts. Every detail matters, every step has to be perfect, and even the smallest mistake can set you back. Next week, the team goes again, infusing the panel for a second time, and at long last, painting the Camaro, ready to take a mold. Don't miss it.